Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I really wanted to sit down and film a very quick fire catch up Q&A because it has actually been ages since I've just sat down and spoke to the camera. I have only uploaded three videos in the last couple of months. I just feel a bit disconnected from you guys and you've only seen one vlog from third year even though I am September, October, now in my third month of third year. Really, the vlog I uploaded a couple of weeks ago was from ages ago, so for me, a lot has happened since then, and I thought it'd be good to just sit down and catch up with you all. My I failed video ended up getting a lot more views, like a scary amount of views. I remember uploading that video and thinking, ah, oh, you know, I'm putting a bit of a dramatic thumbnail and a dramatic title, I'm probably gonna get slightly more views than normal but it got over 100,000 views. There are probably a lot of newbies here and you might still be getting to know me a little bit and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to just sit down and chat to you. The sunlight is rapidly going. Chances to film are very slim, so I'm gonna try and be as quick as possible. Also, I am slightly unwell. I've got a bit of a cold thing going on and I've also just got back from a lovely weekend in the New Forest. Our friends Eleanor and Eddie are moving to Australia so this was their goodbye weekend in the New Forest and we hired this Airbnb which ended up being quite interesting. It was like this abandoned cottage um, in the middle of nowhere and we had a really good time. There was like 14 of us I think staying there. We did some lovely walks, we did a quiz, we played games and we even did a fancy dress night where we all dressed up as our favourite kids TV characters. So it's been a great weekend but I'm just feeling like my energy levels are quite low. So I'm gonna try and keep the energy high, but we'll see how we go. So I went on my Instagram and I basically just said, what do you guys wanna know? And I've basically picked out 15 questions so this video isn't too long. If you did ask me a question and I didn't get back to you in this video, then please feel free to message me on Instagram and I'll try my best to get back to you quickly. First question, how are you feeling about third year so far? I am actually really enjoying third year so far. I was definitely feeling very burnt out at the start of third year and definitely feeling down because I only had two weeks off between the resets finishing and starting third year and I just didn't feel like I had time to breathe so I wasn't feeling great at the start of the year and I was also suffering quite heavily from imposter syndrome and just feeling like I wasn't good enough for the course and to be honest just evaluating my life choices a lot so the start of the year wasn't great and the first month I just felt a bit numb and like wasn't really sure what I was doing with my life. We were the Covid cohort you know our first year was purely in a lockdown we barely had any lectures in person so I think you have to accept like we were a kind of special group in that we started med school in a lockdown and there's gonna be some consequences because of that and I think the exam results of our year group and the year below as well were a direct result of that. But anyway, now I have got a few months into my project, I'm really enjoying it and we've recently been given our placements and I'm just feeling a lot better about the whole situation. I have got a good routine going on at the moment and yeah, overall I'm feeling really good about third year. What placements do you do in third year? In third year we have three placements. We do GP, we do surgery and orthopaedics and we do medicine and elderly care and those three placements are all eight weeks long so we don't start those till January but those are the three placements that we have this year. Do you get to pick your placement slash where are your placements this year? No, we don't get to pick our placement. It is random. I know they send out a form and they ask you things like do you have kids and stuff so maybe some people have more say and I think they also ask you if you can drive and with regards to where the placements are so in third year they try and keep you closer to Southampton so you won't have to live away from Southampton when you're on your placement but I think you can be anywhere from Portsmouth, Winchester, you can be in Bournemouth or Poole or you can be in Southampton and I've been quite lucky so my placements are in Winchester which is about a 20 minute drive or a you can catch the train or you can catch the bus to Winchester from here. I've got a placement in Southampton at Southampton General Hospital so that's great and I've got a placement just outside Southampton in like a town nearby so that placement will be the hardest to get to because I actually have to catch two buses to get there and two buses back so it will be quite difficult getting to that one but they do try and group you with other students so hopefully you would imagine at least one person is a driver Currently I can't drive so I am going to have to catch buses to my placement just outside Southampton because I'm the only one going there as far as I know. That is a bit annoying but ultimately not that bad. I mean it's only eight weeks so you just got to put up with it I guess for the eight weeks that you're in that place. I definitely need to learn to drive at some point but I'm just really put off 
by the cost of driving lessons there's like 45 pounds for an hour i know i definitely need to learn at some point in my life i'm gonna try and start learning in the new year but it might be a very slow process why have you stopped uploading weekly vlogs i've not stopped forever i'm definitely gonna keep uploading after resets and stuff like that i took a step back and i said why am i doing youtube and i do youtube mainly for the creative outlet i really enjoy making videos editing them it's just something i've done my whole life like since i was a little kid i used to make videos on this big camcorder thing my parents had i think last year i just got a bit more swept up into the idea of being a youtuber rather than a medical student and ultimately i want to be a doctor that's my goal that's my dream i don't want to be a full-time youtuber so i have to make sure my priorities are in order and as much as i love youtube and i'm going to keep doing it i've realized it's not my number one priority this year the plan is to just upload as much as i can but not put immense pressure on myself i still have vlogs to come and don't worry i am still vlogging it's just maybe you'll see them once every two weeks rather than every single week um i hope that's okay i hope you understand do you think having a degree is beneficial to med school I think yes, but not because of the content. So I did a biology degree before this. We did one physiology module. Other than that, everything was plants or microbiology or genetics. As much as it's useful occasionally, it's not the be all and end all. I think where the degree comes in handy is that I have that experience of being at uni. I've done three years of it already. I've got a bit more life experience because I've done that degree already. I don't think it's totally necessary content wise, but I think life experience wise and just being more confident, it's definitely helped. What specialities are you interested in? Honestly, I am completely open to anything at the moment. I have no idea. I'm really excited to start placement so I can actually start to see what I do like and what I don't like. But right now the answer is I don't know. I don't have a clue. And then I had quite a few questions off people about picking a research project and advice on how to choose and that might be a little bit specific to Southampton but I know other unis and med schools do do research projects so my advice would be to think about all the different types of projects on offer what are you interested in and what kind of thing do you want to get out of your project do you want to work in a lab do you want to get experience working in a lab or do you want to speak to patients do you want more clinical contact time or do you want to be in the library reading lots of papers and delving really deep into a topic and then you also need to think about what kind of areas you're interested in and make sure that you're picking a topic that you actually are going to be able to sit and read lots and lots about that is a big tip of mine because if you're finding the topic really boring that's going to make writing your literature review the hardest thing so just make sure you're interested and make sure the type of project is something that you're going to enjoy doing have you found it hard to make friends being an older student i think i was really nervous about this at the start it's not as difficult as people make out because Medicine is a really sociable course. You are constantly around your peers. What I would say is that if you feel like you are in your first or second year and you haven't really found the people you click with yet, try not to worry because this is a really long course and I'm in my third year now and I only really recently have felt like I've found the people I click with and I'm still meeting new people through projects I've met people and spoken to people for the first time this year and obviously when we go on to placement it's going to be the same we're going to be on placement with different people as an older student I would say try to go into it with an open mind someone who's 21 is very similar to someone who's 25 it's not actually that big of an age gap and I appreciate some people might be older than that a lot of people go into medicine later and there are people on my course who are older we are in a minority but there is a group of us maybe like 20 of us who were older than 18 at the start and also it's always great to join societies even if you are older I have joined the medics football team and that has been one of the best things I've done I absolutely love being part of the swallows don't shut yourself off because that's how you're going to end up not getting to know people and also just double check that your uni doesn't have a graduate medical student society because we have the graduate and mature medical student society at our uni so they organize socials for grad students and there's also the mature students network at the university as well so it might be worth checking whether or not your uni has something like that as well how to balance work slash life well i feel slightly insecure about this these days because obviously it didn't do too well in the exams and I've moved on from that but I do feel like maybe I didn't have the balance right last year maybe that's why I failed anatomy I'm working I'm doing YouTube I'm doing uni I'm doing tutoring I'm doing a lot you're not always going to get the balance right some weeks you're going to do more socializing than you are working and some weeks you're going to do a lot more working than socializing and it's about accepting that there's going to be fluctuations 
The best advice I can give is you've just got to be really organised, get yourself a diary and make sure you're blocking out time. Also learning to say no, it's okay to say no to things, that's something I definitely need to work on. You can say no if you feel like you're doing too much, no one's going to be annoyed at you. People will be more annoyed if you over promise and under deliver, so just make sure that if you are feeling like you've got a lot on that week and someone asks you, can you come and do this thing for me? You can say no, it's fine. Um, but in terms of balance, it's just about being really organised and realistic with the time that you have in the day without sounding too much like Molly May. How many hours are you working at the pub this year? So right now I'm doing the most hours I've ever been doing because my project is slightly more flexible. Um, so for example, last week I did 24 hours at the pub and I think this week I did... 18 or 20. I'm doing more at the moment. That is because after Christmas I don't think I'm going to be able to do many hours at all because I'm going to be on placement 9 to 5 Monday to Friday. My plan is to sort of save money now so that in January to June I don't have to work as much. How have you found living with other people and not just Jack? Um, so if you didn't know, Jack and I lived together alone in a three bedroom flat for three years throughout the whole of Covid and recently we have decided to move in with our friends Ellie and Luke and it definitely took some getting used to it was different because we don't have our own personal space as much now but I am really enjoying it actually because the thing is Ellie and Luke were our friends before we moved in with them so it's not like we've moved in with complete strangers and I can't lie we're getting a really good deal with our rent this year so our bills are included in the rent and we were kind of done with that flat like we'd lived there a long time and we were ready for something new so I'm really enjoying it and it's so nice to just be a bit more sociable. Everyone who lives here other than me is working full time so everyone's really busy um, and everyone's really tired in the evenings. It's definitely not the same as a usual student house because m Monday to Friday everyone is just either working or dead to the world um, so it's not like we're going out midweek or partying all the time but we do like to go out on the weekends what are you currently reading oh let me just get my book I'm reading Book Lovers by Emily Henry um, I read her other book You and Me on Vacation when I went to Mallorca and I absolutely loved it I read it in like two days so I've just started this one and I think she's just a really funny writer but also just like it is the kind of book where you just don't want to put it down. Also quite nerdy, reading Fire and Blood by George R. R. Martin. So this is the book that the new series House of the Dragon is based on. And I have made pretty good progress. I'm like 400 pages in, but it's not a fun read. Like it's quite um, challenging because it's written like a history book. I just, I'm really interested in the show and what happens next. And I'm kind of just reading ahead to spoil it for myself. This one I'm kind of just slowly progressing through. Whereas this one I think I'll read in about a week or two. Do you want to live in Southampton forever? Absolutely not. Um, when I moved to Southampton, I planned to stay here for three years for my biology degree. And obviously, I'm here after seven years still. Um, I'm stuck here for another two and a bit years, so that's great. I don't, I don't hate it here. I just don't love it here. But at the same time, I don't know where I'm gonna end up slash where Jack and I are gonna end up because it's still a little while until we're gonna be able to move. But definitely, when I'm applying for F1 jobs, I am not applying around here. I am absolutely ready for a new adventure. And last question, because the sun is about to go down. What are you most happy about at the moment? That's a really hard question. I think at the moment I'm most happy about the fact that I feel like I've got a really good group of friends around me and I always feel like if I need to speak to someone, I've got someone there to reach out to. And I'm also really happy that we are getting into the festive part of the year. November is a quite a slog of a month, but we're getting into like the middle of November already so I'm really excited for Christmas and that makes me happy knowing that we are not far off a little break. I'm going to end it there because I don't want to keep you all day on oh, my phone. Ooh. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will be back with a vlog either next week or the week after. Please bear with me but the vlogs are coming. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!